I was just it's cavalry division, but you got experience, entrenchment, commander skill. Apparently, we have air superiority over here now. Oh, because you're actually part of Finland. You're an actual core state. It's going to give us an extra, I think, like 15% defense. Like, do we just abandon this area? Like, it seems bad to give them that much control of our territory. I mean, we'll try it. I don't like it at all. Stay here near Petrograd. The rest of you. Now you're gonna try to punch up here. Like this, this shouldn't work. Cause we have like pretty decent defenses around here. Wow, I hate this. So how, many, how many men do I have? I have like, what, 12 divisions? Yeah. We have enough manpower that we can probably deploy like one more infantry division. Maybe, no, just one. Don't, two? Don't be ridiculous. We can deploy one more infantry division. We're at 6.3 thousand manpower. We can maybe get up to, um, we'll all don't serve. You know what? Honestly, yeah, do it. So what do we do? Something like this. Basically just defend Helsinki. There we go. It's a very weird defensive line, but... Basically, we're just going to let the AI take all this territory. They'll probably have a board with, with Sweden, but... You know, that is what it is. Okay, so it looks like Bolivia has been annexed. Not a major surprise. Don't even like who are we at war with? Uh, a lot of people, I would say. We need Japan to go to war with somebody, or Japan to go to war with the Internationale. But I don't know how likely that is to actually occur. Like if Russia attacks Transmere, the Japanese should join that war. I mean, Ukraine's losing territory. Don't come in Union. Like, how, how are you guys doing over here? I mean, again, you've got your little pocket, and you've taken, like, this one province in uh, Lorraine. But that's really not enough to uh, claim victory or anything like that, is it? The answer is basically no, it's not. I mean, it's like, I would like to take Petrograd. It would be, be a nice city to take. Year ahead of time. Hard attack and more piercing, but I don't think really attacking us with that many tanks. Also, we're gonna turn the game volume down a little bit. There we go. Just like one little uh one little notch. Okay, so now we should have an extra 15% defense for all of these troops. Which is pretty good. We get more speed. A winter attrition going down. More attack on core territory? I mean, there's not really anything else we really want to do. So you know what? Yeah, let's go for minus 10% winter attrition. Because right now it is January in Finland, which I'm assuming is probably pretty cold. I've never been. 
Okay. Thank you, India, for non-aggression pact. Because you don't have a border with the Soviets anywhere else, right? No, you got, like, little Afghanistan that's right in the middle of you, but that's... Not much. How is Iran still alive? That, that's my question now. So remember, Iran is going to die. There's, there's no doubt about that. After that, I, I don't know where else we're really going to go. That's if Estonia and Latvia were still in the war. And they could have, um... We, we could have used their troops. That would have been nice. Remember, remember, remember when the Baltic Duchy existed? Those, those were the days, man. Okay, Iran has died. Azerbaijan has actually left the war. I mean, they think they got like a really decent chunk of territory. So I think actually, because Azerbaijan left the war, it actually might lead to, um... Yeah, thank you for uh, all the alliance offers, the non-aggression packs, all that good, good stuff. I mean, again, how many... Okay, we've, 36, we've lost 36,000 men, which is, like, a lot. We've at least have killed more than we've lost. So, like, the numbers are at least going in our favors in that regard. But other than that, we're kind of... Ugh. I'm, I'm tugging on my collar. You can't see it, but just imagine that in your head. Okay, so the Russians are now coming. Are you not a, a real province? Okay, the Germans are on their way. Sweden wants to be one division. Thank you. I don't know... Where is this division you sent me? It's in Stockholm. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take them. You know what you can do? is You can just, like, go over water because water would make this much faster than going all the way around like i'm just looking at this and who's who's in charge i'm technically in charge give it to sweden i this like i think like the third time i've given away this province give it to sweden so it's gonna cause the swedish ai to want to go up there and defend the province Yeah, like, they're making gains against us. Which isn't, like, super surprising. Like, it's something we probably should have seen coming. Uh, Australia, sure. West Indies Federation, sure. Are you coming to defend this? Yeah, come over here. The invasion of the Lowlands. I mean, if the British want to keep invading the Lowlands, I think it's kind of fine. Actually, it's the Russians that invaded the Lowlands. Because, you know, why, why wouldn't they? But if they don't take a port, they're basically just, like, sacrificing themselves, which is nice for us. I, I appreciate the sacrifices that they're making. Also, like, this looks like it has one infantry division. I know it's a level 7 fort, but, like, all of you against one... Okay, no, they reinforced the province. I mean, a level 7 fort isn't anything to, like, joke around with. There's... How many troops do the British have? Holy hell. 11 to 63, but they've got every single one of their ports very much defended right now. Which scares me a little bit. How many troops does each infantry take? 16,000 manpower, huh? Okay, so the Sardinians have landed near Petrograd, because why wouldn't they? We can actually invade? We can invade Russia? I never thought the day would come. Because, again, like, I'm trying to think how many troops do they have. Probably about 100 divisions. Of course, they're fighting a lot of troops down here. They actually have not been able to push their way into White Ruthenia yet. Let's go with... What are actually inner armies right now? Engineers and Recon Company. Okay, so let's upgrade Recon Companies first. And by Recon Companies, I do mean uh, Engineers for extra entrenchment. You don't have any defenses here. You got Petrograd. Are you gonna like abandon Petrograd? Man, 
Seems like a mistake on your part. No, they're defending it. But we've at least pushed. We've pushed a little bit into uh, Russia. Not a, not a lot, to be honest. But a little bit. I know these troops are basically garbage. Do you have any tanks? Do you have 81 tanks? Honestly, that's good enough for me. Deploy, deploy. Put them on the front lines. They're garbage, but they're my garbage. Okay, you want non-aggression packed? You're taking over most of Northern Finland, which again is a little bit scary because we're now at 89% um, capitulation. Which is a little bit worrying. Have you guys pushed your way through anymore? No, see, because you're trying to attack the province with a fort in it. When there's a province right here without a fort in it. Which would be a little bit easier for you to take. Just a, uh, a word of advice. Like, we're still capturing a decent amount of uh, enemy shipping. I mean, you're soon going to be reaching Finland. Or reaching Swidland, uh, Swidland? Sweden proper. We have enough artillery to upgrade you, upgrade the tanks, even though we're really not making any of this stuff. Because we don't have any steel. Because all of our steel facilities got captured, I think, by the Russians. So we'll import steel from Germany, so we can at least make weapons again. We have full naval superiority over the region. I think you guys can right now dock. Oh, but you're doing such a good job as well. The United Is there anybody we can import oil from? Austria, maybe? Like, if we get two units of fuel from you? We are now gaining oil, which is nice. Let's get an extra 10% attack on core territory, which is, you know, what this area actually is. I mean, we're defending decently enough. We just got, like, really high attack values. But we're defending, and by God, we'll do it for as long as we need to. And taking Petrograd would be a nice little uh, prize for us. Okay, we're sinking British transports. I mean, as long as we're, like, killing people, that's pretty good. The House of War going on over here. You're at 86. You have really, really high... <gasps> Supplies? Thank you very much, all of you. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Austria is still not in the war. We kind of known as the United States of Greater Austria. Does that mean you're going to annex all these people into your country? Because if you do, that's good for us. The problem with Austria typically is because they're so like federated, federally, like federalized. All their little puppet states don't do enough for the whole. But if Austria annexes all this land, they're going to have a pretty large army that could be very beneficial for us. Don't look at Ukraine, though. Ukraine, they're, they're having a bad day. But, I mean, who who isn't, I guess, in this uh, current situation, right? So, I guess what we can do, actually, is shrink your front line like this. And just have you basically be on a front line. Of these two provinces. Okay, thank you, uh, Riga, for your singular aircraft. I will uh, always treasure it. Okay, let's take one province from the enemy, because we can. Yes, yeah, so yeah, you're gonna stand like this. You move your way upwards. We're still missing one steel, but it's probably going to be used for convoy or something like that, so it's not really that... Like, we're not that concerned with it. Okay, so we have 146 political power. Is there anything we can actually really do with that? I mean, we get war propaganda, but, like, what is... What does that get us? I think basically nothing. I guess we can close our economy.
But I don't think that makes sense. Actually, if anything, if we look at our, um... We don't domestically produce anything, right? Because we don't domestically produce anything, we should go for free trade. Just because it gives us a factory output bonus, which is, like, nice for us. And we're not losing anything if you have no natural resource production in the country. I might be wrong on that, but I don't think I am. You guys are now at war with each other. And yeah, you've now reached the Swedish border. Like, it's... It's not good. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not good. Call it Batvia. But I think Germany has maybe pushed... No, I was like, maybe they pushed one more province in. They have, they have not. Ah, they might have actually taken this province here. I don't think that's surround on Lille. No, because I think they can... I think these two provinces connect, right? Yeah. I mean, if they could get the encirclement, it'd be, like, pretty good. But unfortunately, they just don't have it. Thank you, again, for a singular plane. We don't have civilian factories. Yeah, we are losing our factories, huh? We have no aluminum now, so... Our production is going into the toilet. Don't build any of this. All this stuff is garbage. Diplomatization doesn't make any sense for us, I think. It's like, what's our problem now? 19%. Transmuted. <gasps> Do you see this? A war has broken out in the east. Transmitter is going to invade uh, Russia. So, with that... Economic ties to Japan. Can you get the Japanese to invade as well? I feel like that can be beneficial, but having even... Even just having, like, a war over here... Might alleviate some pressure. Of course, if you look at our country right now, it doesn't... It needs a lot more than just some, you know, less pressure on it. But you should all just go over to Transmeter and deal with that situation and let me invade you in peace and quiet, okay? That's that's all I'm going to say about the situation is I think you should do that and leave me the goddamn hell alone, okay? Or have Spain win the war so we can actually have another border with the French. That would also not uh, hurt us too, too badly. Because you don't have it, you, like, you're never going to get a front line with the International. Again, unless Ottomans are going to win, which I think they actually will, um, looking at it now. So if they win, and, and then they join the war and invade the Russians through, like, Central Asia, now we're no longer getting oil as well, because we don't have factories. So I guess our ships will have to dock. And okay, we got more attack in core territory, which is not bad. Special forces. An extra is 5% flat attack bonus. Foreign policy. You know what? Let I don't there's no reason to go to war war with the uh, I mean, because you can't do Greater Finland, right? Like you need to own more territory, which we can't do. And we're kind of stuck in this hell that I've created. Yeah, so there's something like this. Like, how close are we to capitulation? 55%. I think we're in a, uh, the position where if we lose Helsinki, we're just kind of dead. Which I will admit, not like a great position to be in. Okay, so we're going to try attack across here. It's not going to work out for them. It's just like we just don't have enough troops to do anything. Kind of one of the problem of, with playing any small country in uh, R2-4. It's just like not having quite enough men. And Finland, you gotta admit, it's got like a pretty large front line for the number of, tr number of troops you can possibly have. Because your manpower sucks ass. Uh, deploy you over here. But again, as long as we can defend Helsinki... 
then we're 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 in the war for the long run. Austro Hungary is federalized. Which means yeah, you're gonna start annexing all these people. Now you should attack the Italians. Just, just, you know, just an idea, just, just a thought, uh, you know, it's a thing you could do, is attack the Italians. I would be, uh, very, uh, grateful if you did it. 